Okay guys, good morning. Welcome to the first edition of Boona School, Booner School, Boona, Booner School for 2019. Um, as you all know, I've been having a rough season this year in Ohio. I've had great success out of state, but in my own state here, I just can't seem to get on a really big deer. I've passed some 150s and 40s, just younger deer, and I've just been struggling to find the kind of deer that I'm trying to hunt, you know? because um, that's what I enjoy you know I'm not just a horn hunter but I enjoy hunting those upper end deer that's what I like to do and so it's a challenge for me and boy this year has really been a challenge but you know the tips I want to give you today on Booner School here is you know this time of year it's January 8th it's still 50 degrees so the deer have not been consistent on food sources you know we've had some 20s and 30s and you know we had a little bit of snow back in December and man, that early part of December when we had that snow, that's when all the big bucks started showing up on food sources. And then it went away, got warm again, and the deer disappeared. Or they just weren't doing anything consistent. So now we've got some cold coming. And I just got access to a farm here that borders um, some corn, cut corn, and some beans. Cut beans on this side. And this little piece of woods is in between it. And there's good bedding in here and down over this hill in a big ravine. And then on the other side of that corn is a bedding area, and on the other side of the beans is a bedding area. So I got three bedding areas with two food sources really close. And so if there is a big buck in here, this trail that I've found that connects these two food sources, and it basically looks like a main runway from one, you know, just directly diagonal from one bedding area to a bedding area through food sources, that's a perfect spot to catch an ambush. I've got some great trees in here. You know, some big triple trees, big soft maples and stuff that got big triple trunks. And uh, that'll make it really nice, you know, to get a stand in. Or I've got some blowdowns here that I can get a redneck ghillie blind up in. And so that's the kind of stuff I look for. But, you know, my tip today is, you know, hunt the stomach. This is the, it's going to get cold. It's just got to happen. It's this time of year. And those deer will start getting consistent again. So I'm going to let the Spartan camera tell me if there's something big in here using this spot that I want to, to try to, you know, hunt. And if there isn't something big in here using this trail, well, then I know not to hunt here, so I'm not wasting my time. You know, this camera's sitting here a good week, week and a half. It's going to tell me everything I need to know. Um, and so that's what I'm hoping it does, and that's just my tip, you know. Um, just stay persistent. Look for those food sources. Never stop trying to find somewhere to hunt, you know, getting access, whatever. You know, I've been driving around seeing deer in fields and stuff, and uh, haven't seen a real big deer right here, but... With all these does around and some of the other bucks that I've seen here, I would sure think there is one. So we'll see what happens and maybe I'll get lucky.